So tonight's dev stream 138 was an audio dev stream. It has just ended, but it was all about the sounds of Warframe. The sounds of everything old, I guess, and everything that's about to be added into the game as well. But we still got some nice kind of info on what to expect to be added into the game pretty soon. Like two new operations that are on the way, two new events. Now I think in all of last year, we only had two new events in total, and now we've got two new ones planned for the start of this year already. The Scarlet Spear and the Deadlock Protocol. The Deadlock Protocol is a Corpus event that's based around the origins of the Corpus and something about them trying to resurrect someone, maybe their founder. Now the Deadlock Protocol will also bring Protea, the next new Warframe, our new female based engineer frame with her turrets, her balls and her rewind ability. And of course the event will also have the Corpus Gunblade as a reward. Now for Protea, we got a look at her abilities in action. The turret that spawns in front of her and kind of shoots in a straight line and then despawns after a few seconds. No idea what the damage was like and it did disappear pretty quickly. Now we also seen her dispensary which was dropping health and energy orbs as well as ammo for you and teammates to pick up. Now the new Corpus Gunblade which is coming with the event visually looked really really nice but the damage looked like it was an impact based Gunblade. There was a lot of those impact symbols with each shot that Rebecca fired. So whether or not it's going to compete with the Big Bad Redeemer is going to be very interesting. Maybe Shattering Impact could be a mod that will really excel on this Gunblade instead of the Sarpa. But we will have to wait and see. Now the other event or the other operation is called the Scarlet Spear which is a sentient based one. This will bring in Squad Link into the game. The new Moa Pet as well and a new sentient primary weapon. So really Jack players will need to battle new sentient fighter ships out in space while also linking up with a squad on the ground in order to complete an objective within this event. The new sentient weapon we were shown looks as well amazing, very sentient like, especially the reload animation and its sounds. The weapon itself is coming with two different fire modes, a fully auto kind of similar to the Exceltra in game and some kind of secondary fire that is an electric beam weapon that opens and closes like a scissors like the Convectrix so I guess a sentient Convectrix that can also go into fully auto. Hopefully it's going to deal much more damage than the Convectrix because it kind of sucks. Now for the Scarlet Spear operation we know it's going to have its own operational hub or relay type where it's your base of operations where you will link up with other players to start each of these missions to eventually complete the event. Squad link like I said is a go. You can see the sentient ship hologram floating around this hub as well as a red crystal floating as well basically all the edgy stuff so with this event the new war i guess is slowly evolving and expanding into the game with the sentience going to show up much more often especially with this scarlet spear event we've seen rebecca fighting one of those sentient enemies that had two liquid containers on each side of its hips where you had to shoot the containers to make it actually take damage because it was invulnerable to damage before that kind of looked really cool and it had big flappy hands and big massive fingers now that's pretty much the dev stream the sound dev stream we didn't see a whole lot like i said it was sound based so the link to the full dev stream is in the description below this video they also mentioned another cinematic that's almost done that has era in it which is lotus's brother sentient brother so that might be out i guess before the middle of this year or maybe next year and and it is July the 11th for Tenocon 2020, where they're going to show us off everything that's going to come in 2035. <laughs> Do me a huge favour, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching.